Hello everyone. Okay, today I brought you a summary, guys. As you can see, and what I got here, it's this one, the USS dollars. Okay. So I'm going to start painting this. And with a new airbrush from Mick Jimenez, the Air Cobra. Okay. So let's see how it's go. Hello, Snor, Jose, Alexander, Micaela, João Abrantes, como estás? Tudo bem? Portanto, hoje, amigos, ok, vou utilizar o, o airbrush de amigo, mas vou utilizar cores avalais. Yes, the Dallas. Guys, I'm going to use the Mic airbrush, ok? But I am going to use Vallejo colors for this one, ok? So the first I'm going to use it's for because I'm going to use uh, metal colors, okay, from uh, Vallejo. I'm going to use a different surface primer, and this is the the gloss black, okay. Hello, Ellsworth. How are you, Tiago? Hello, William. Nice to see you here, guys. So. Let's put some primer on this. And let's see how it's go. Yes, I shake it up, but don't have that ball so you don't hear nothing. Okay. So let's start putting first coat of this. So I'm, I'm not in this, so I want to see how it's going to work without the thinner. Normally on the other airbrush, I need to thin, and I want to see how this goes. And of course, the first layer is, is to see if there is no marks. It's going running nice. Obrigado, Tiago. Buenas tardes, Angel. Uh, the air pressure I'm using is two, two bars, okay, at the moment. So I'm going to put some more, and now I'm going to use the airbrush thinner, okay, and see how it goes. So yes. Gracias, Angel. Hello, James. Serdar, how are you, my friends? So now let's see how it goes with this. So I put some tape around this uh, because I want to paint the bottom. So yes. It's running very, very nice. So for you guys, if you are going to buy this airbrush, this airbrush is really good, but you, the thing on this, this trigger, it's heavy, okay? So you must have more careful when pulling this, okay? <laughs> é verdade, João. Só que é, é para ir vendo o que é que estou a fazer, se estou a fazer bem ou não, e eu não gosto de estar sempre a tentar no mesmo sítio. Isso às vezes é o um problema da gente, fazemos porcaria, estamos a tentar às vezes no, no mesmo sítio e, e quando não percebemos já podemos tentar mais. So, it is getting very nice and shining. Ok, and... Nice, guys. You see, I can, 
I need to put more on this one. Hello, Steven, Bruno, Jesse Gorman, how are you? Hello, my friend, Marisarel, how are you? Como estás? Desculpa lá, mas às vezes o seguimento estar a falar em inglês. Hello, Sotos. Like I said, the trigger is a little heavier, but when you get used to it, it's very nice. It's like uh, riding a new car, okay? The controls normally, you, you, you see in the, the driving, it's a little different, it's like this one, okay? So yes, I am liking this. I know I am turning and turning. Okay, this big one, guys, this is from Ikea. Okay, this is about seven euros. And it's really, really awesome. Okay, you can see uh, I'm not making <laughs> any sponsor to it. Ikea, but this is very nice, okay, it's a big one, it's good to paint uh, planes, everything, okay, my tanks, I love this one, so, I got the prime, you can see on this, it's very shiny, okay, and with this shine, you see all the troubles, if you have on your model, okay, now, this is going to be in a different color, okay, and it's going to have, let me try to show you guys. It's going to have that reddish thing, okay. So, yes, I must paint that too, okay. But first thing, what I like to do on these guys, uh, let me try to show you. See, there is panels on the on the submarine. So I'm going to give a light on these. So for that, I'm going to use. At the moment, I'm just using uh, all products from Vallejo, and this is Model Air. It's the white. Okay. Hola, Miguel. Hello, friends. Uh, Hank, how are you? So shake it, shake it, shake. You hear the ball inside of this because I put some balls from me, Jimenez. It's it's good to to help this. So now let's see how it's going to work. This. one and the two yeah, i'm going to put another one okay three drops of this and now i'm not going to put any thinner i'm going to put airbrush flow improver okay it's elbow lot uh coming out of the this if you use vallejo colors use this on every paint and it helps very 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 much so mixing this la sergio so coming out the white now i'm going to put some shine on the panels okay and for that, so like this, okay.
Okay, you see all all it is. Some guys is going to say you are crazy. Okay, after all that trouble. Okay, so you can see now how it is. All black and white. Okay, now I'm going to put the code of what I need. So let me clean your. Now I'm going to clean your brush. It's time for that, guys. You know. So about the quality of the videos, I am uh, working on that. I'm going to grab a new PC for here. Hello, Gilbert. Salvador, Norbert, Gianni, uh, Francesco, Gianfranco, Tony, how are you? So it's clean, okay. Now I'm going with the color, okay? The first color on this, okay? And I'm going to grab something. Uh, you guys can see what I'm going to use. Let me see where it is. So because this is acrylic, you can use on Vallejo colors these two, okay? The transpirator from ink. What does it do? it makes your paint more transparent okay so i'm going to use for this a uh, steel okay this is from uh vallejo metal colors i love these kind of colors from them but i'm going to make a mixture almost with 50 50 okay because i want to have a transparent uh uh, work paint to see these little white things, okay? So I, I don't want um, just one color on it. Uh, for me, I think it's ugly, okay? I'm going to just ask my daughter. Precisa de cor vermelho. Vê lá as cores vermelhas destas tintas Model Air. Sorry, guys. Here it is. My daughter is there. It's painting, you know what? A uh, Titanic, okay? It just. Titanic. Titanic. So, yes, my daughter normally paints, paint, uh, put here. And so, you see, he's painting with the brush. So the first coat of the red is color. So yes, here it is. <laughs> so I'm going to leave her working. Say bye to the camera. <laughs> so let's go. Again, and here it is, guys. <laughs> so yes, my doctor likes to paint models too. And there it is, she brings me Yes, I'm going to be a little crazy and I'm going to put the Ferrari red on this. So let's see how it went, okay? But first, still. 
So if you use this on the airbrush, you don't need to go uh, with a thinner, okay? You can go just with this. So one, two, three, just three drops. Hello, Alex, Fernando. And now two drops. So the ratio is going to be three to two, okay? So I want this to be transparent. And yes, you can work with Vallejo colors too with this transparator for me. But Vallejo is to the base, okay? You can buy it on the store. Uh, you just say base, okay? It's what you need. So now let's give very far, okay? I look at very far from the submarine. And a mist on this, okay. And it's living very, very light. Now here you got this stripe. I don't want this too much heavier on this. So just giving more at this side, okay? So let's go here on the belly. Let me rotate. Okay, so on the top bottom it's going to be red, so here it is. Let me try, guys, to show you. Okay, you see the different lights. Now I'm going again with the primer, or it is, so the gloss primer. Shake a little. Now I want this. I'm just going to put one drop of black. And I'm going to put three drops of this. I want this to be very transparent now, okay? I'm going to remove some of the shining on the submarine. You give that aspect of metal, but just not so much metal. Okay, so I got the submarine done. Now just clean a little of this, okay guys? So if you have a very good airbrush, if you have a, a very cheap airbrush for this work nice, you must clean, clean and clean and clean and clean, okay? What I am liking here, it's uh, the point of the nozzle, okay? It's very different from the others. It also accumulates the paint here. It's just like you don't have that cap on the point of, of your airbrush. So this is nice, okay? But beware because it's going to spread a lot, a lot of paint, okay? So now let's give a little with the air dryer
because I need to go and put the first uh, tape on this. And the point of the submarine here is going to be black. To start me as uh, Peter. One to death. Okay, okay. Now let me put this here. And I'm going to use the tape. Well, let me get the tape. So, para pintar a pintar em pincel, normalmente o melhor é as azulotas, modo color. Ok, que os modo color é mais pérvoras. So guys, sorry, here it is. Oh, so many guys. Peter, Nathan, Wario, Thomas, Ferret, Akar, Justin, Angel, and Revolving. Hello guys. So now I'm going to put the tape here on the side of the summary. Uh, and you see that so many different kind of colors. So let's see the measure. It's about this. Now let me start putting the tape. There. For this kind of work, you need a tape you can bend. Okay, I'm using this one, this yellow, but to me, I have a very nice one uh, that's white one. And it's very nice because you can bend it uh, around the corners and it's workable. Okay, so let me put like this. Okay. And start working. Now I need to start bending a little, making that curvature there, okay? So, yes. Then, so now just here on the point. So let's turn this around and make the same thing, okay? Okay, okay, so I got there uh, on the middle. Yes, no, this is a little bar. So normally at this time, 
you must wait for this to dry but i want you guys to see the process and maybe it's going to uh, remove some paint <laughs> everything is obvious so now just a little here around so maybe this is going to fall out some paint oops but with the airbrush we do everything So guys, I just want you to see normally the process we must do. Okay, and then. So I need to paint this part in black. Now I'm going to use a big one, a big tape, just to protect the summary, okay? And I'm going to use a normal tape, painter's tape, but to this, guys. Just put on your shirt, okay? And we want to remove the excess of the glue and you clean the shirt too. <laughs> you see it? Just Simple as this. Careful and not over spread. Look it. I know this is a little bored, but guys, just for you guys to see how it must do. Try to make to, to glue on the other on the other tape, okay? So because I am not uh, let this dry nice, maybe uh, belly time. Yes, <laughs> yeah, for that. Is it. É um, isto é uma dica boa que é para um gajo não pôr logo esta cola direta e depois quando vê só fez a porcaria. Okay, now thing around here, the point of the submarine. So let me put this down here and let's do the same thing. So when I go and remove the tape, it's going to be normal if you see some paint coming out okay but if if you leave this to dry nice and then maybe normal you can put a, a coat of varnish to protect it's it's better okay so don't go too much crazy like me <laughs> but i just want you guys to see how it's go okay so it's ready to start re receiving the, the paint uh, and now it's going to be the Ferrari red, okay? Yes, I'm going crazy with the color. So now just see if the tape is all glued. The overspray is when the paint goes to the other color. And uh, normally that is terrible if you make a camouflage scheme or something like that, okay? And you don't want that to happen. So let's put one 
two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yes. And I'm going to put a little of this. And my daughter, seal painting, is Titanic. She, oh, yeah, yes. So ready to color. Here we go. First coat, do on the top like this, not like that, okay? Yes, you got the red color. So yes, this part I read to So I'm going to give six pack abs. <laughs> Hello, Fabrice. Some more color. Now I'm going with straight from the bottle. So there is parts I need more red. So normally, most time we do, uh, we take, uh, we lose, it's ma masking the models, okay? So I need more red here. So this is a red color, but it's a little transparent. So I think it's good now. 
So just clean, guys. Airbrush. I like a lot of this cup because this cup is very large. Okay, it's not uh, uh, for um, having too much paint. It's not the, what I'm saying. It's because it's very easy to to see uh, the bottom. I'm just going to show you guys just a little. So like this, you can see very well the bottom. So you know what to clean. OK, much easier. And so far, I am liking. So just using this and put on the needle to here. It's going to leave that clean. Okay, so grab your napkin. It's the time we have this to dry. Okay, clean. Now, with this, I make like this, and boom, it's clean ready for a next color okay now just a little more dry and i will show you another tip if you are using air dryer uh, use the air dryer on the on the tape it's going to put the glue more uh, soft and it's so it's more easier to remove okay Let's see, let's go. Hello, Paulo. How are you? Hello, Paul. So now let's start removing, okay? And yes, I see there is some painting came out, but I expected that. So I'm not frustrated with that. <laughs> I know this is going to happen. Now, here. Very careful. Okay, some more paint. Here, two. Okay. Here it is, the first one. Okay. This one, it's not in red. It's what I wanted. So, where is the tip? It's somewhere. Okay, it's here. I need my tweezer. Just a second, guys. Sorry. So the tweezers, I'm using this from Tamiya. It's really awesome. Okay, now I think it's start. Yes, it moves lots of paints, guys. You see there, but it's normal. Here on the nose, I don't have too much problem with that. So let's see here. Okay. And yes, it's a remove a lot, but no problem. I will do the the varnish and see how it goes. Yeah, whoa, that is the problem for me. 
uh, of the um, Valero colors. That is for me the big problem of Valero case because it spills very, very easy. Okay, on with the mid colors, I don't have that problem. Okay, you can see how it peels. It's ruining our work. No, we can go there again without any problem. Okay, so I know it's going to happen. And you see, uh, for me the more the the big problem on this it was the primer. Okay, but okay, not a problem for me. So now just give a little this. Uh, What I am doing, I am giving some heat, okay, to the paint because it's still fresh, and like this, it starts to blend, okay, and it's what I want at this time. Okay, next step, let's grab some metal varnish. Uh, is what I want. It's going to be the satin varnish, guys. I'm going to use the satin varnish with the thinner for me. And we're going to give a coat on this before I paint the rest. Okay, so take it. We got the two. Wahui, goodbye, Rui. Okay, varnish. So let's see how it goes the varnish on the air cobra. First thing I'm going to use straight for the bottle. So yes. And from out of the bottle, it came nicely. Okay, good. And you can see it remove lots of shine because I use the Saturn. I was to use the 
the metal varnish, this one, but now it's going to be very glossy. I don't I want that. So now I'll just uh, drop soft cleaner, brush, and clean, guys. Don't forget about that. Go to the tip. Okay, Gilbert, see you. So yes, now let's give a go with the air dryer now. Now, using the big one, not that little one, now you must put too much and lose loads of this. So you now you're going to give touches, just touches on this. So just there, a little more. So don't forget this part, okay? Put on any fabric, uh, you don't want to have too much glue at this time. So let me try. Okay, it's too over there. Sorry, guys, this part it's not so. Okay, one side done. Can you see it? <laughs> so just like these guys. Now I'm using where it is. Steel. Straight from the bottle. So let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Deixa eu ver aqui, tá? Um, um, um... Deu o Murilo. Vê, ó. Pode vir aqui, mano. Eu não vou. Tá em direto, mas tá só apagando aqui. Tá, tá em direto. Tá em direto. Eu vou chamar para pintar um Titanic. So at the moment I am giving some light on the top. Okay, I, I got this stripe on the middle. this side let's give a dry on this that's it now using this uh, you see I'm using this to remove the tape This is one of the tricks, guys. And yes, nice. So I go again. Almost came out by itself like this. So yes, as you can see, then problem solved. The only part I need to paint it's the top uh, here. Okay, it's going to be with the matte <coughs> black. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side, and I'm not going to need much just here on the middle okay so yeah nice so same trick and you don't need too much don't forget this and I got a, a good belly to make this <laughs> So this is the part important. You guys don't make any mistakes on this. So let's put like this. And let me try to put this nice. So you are seeing I'm using the paint. I am using the varnish. And we no problem, guys. So 
some guys make a bad story about this guys no this is very nice to make this i'm just going to put more here just a little more you see i want to go fast and you, when you go fast you make bad thing guys So, more color into the airbrush, just two drops. Okay, now let's clear a little. And I think it's good. You see? So I don't want to panic. And it came out nice. The dryer is always and like this I can work fast okay um, the number one rule okay if you are if you have time if you have the time you want you don't so don't be so quickly like me okay because uh, you need to go slow and make this nice, okay? With more slow, more good work. Now let's remove this one. Okay. So, one more side done. So, as you can see, we solved the problem quickly without too much problem. Now that part is going to be on black, so I don't have too much problem. So, I'm just going to need the matte black. And for this, matte black for me, it's for me. Okay, the matte, it's really, really awesome because it's kill all the shine. It's, what I want right now. So let me clean the airbrush. And now it's a metallic color. Metallic color, it's bad for your airbrush too, guys, because of that pigment.
So I'm going to grab the black color. So just searching guys. And I am not seeing the color. Okay, it's here. Found it. Here it is, my Matt Black from me, Jimenez, guys, I'm sorry about the delay, but now let's paint the nose. Now the nose, same thing, okay, with this, and let's kill. Yes, it's a funny way. But this is an expensive one, okay? So now I want, let me, I'm going to put my glasses. just need to press here not all the tape okay if you do like that it's not good so i'm going to remove this from the stand yes Okay. Good. Now, black. Let's check it. Gerardo, felicitaciones y feliz Navidad. Tú y estos tuyos, gracias. Botón, Sherbir, Wap Lip, right. So let's put some matte black on this. Oh my God, this is one, two, three, four, let me see. It goes nice. So I'm going to work now. Oh, oh, let's kill this. So, using my hand at the moment. Just a little more black here. Let me see if one drop is go there. And I think it's nice. So let me put this here. Okay. No, I'll just use the yeah, end right.
So now let's try remove the tape. Careful. Now, careful, careful, careful. Now let's give a little bit. And let's see, it's not going to peel any more paint. Just went a little there. I'm just going to need a little red here. Okay. Let me see it came out this nicely. I just need ear on the back a little, okay? Yes, too. So just this. One more drop. Okay, and this is the bottom. So. So now let me put this right right there. Okay. Oops, like this. Now I'm going to paint the base. Okay, I got here the base. So I just need to see something, guys. It's the decals, how it's going to be, and I want to see the which color I must paint. So you go. Oh my god, it's here it is. So let me see. Yes, the decal it's white so i can go and paint this on a different color and for that i'm going to use silver Let, let's see if the silver goes nice on this okay so just a little tape now like this okay to grab the base i'm going to put the submarine away for a minute. So yes, as you can see, uh, we can paint a model quickly. Oh no, this is this is too bright. No, 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 no. It's going to be steel. That's with a little steel. Okay, I didn't want too much. 
Uh, let me clean your your brush. Okay. When you are using paints uh, out of the bottle, be more careful because the paint is more thick. Okay. And of course, it's going to grab on your cap, on your needle, everywhere. So for that, you need to have more careful, guys. So now let's mix uh, the plate. So let me put just one drop of this. Okay. Now I'm going to grab uh, where I put it. One drop of steel. So we are going to make a different color. Okay. So not not too much dark and not too much clear. Okay. So it's a middle term and it's different from the submarine. It's what I am trying to get, but I want to have a, a, a thing more dark to put the the white decal there of the name okay so let's paint this and see the result okay it's coming too much oops oops daisy Depois ela sai isto que o senhor procura. Boa tarde. Olha, explica o Nuno. Para meter a tinta mais transparente? Não, é para, para proteger as cabines, o transparente. Ah, não é isso. Eu não, quer, eu pus, eu para proteger a, a cabine, para pintar o avião. Para Mas quer envernizar. É para proteger, que é para, para, proteger, para poder pintar e, não, e depois poder retirar. Depois retirar, pois então é. Então é o liquid mask, it, uh, mask it. é o verde que está lá do Ah, é a, a máscara líquida. Máscara líquida. Aquilo depois com, com uma, uma pinçazinha puxa-se fora. fora. Pois, mas eu não estou a falar nisso. Já desde os 7 anos de idade, mas... Isso é uma maravilha, aquilo. aquilo. Você aqui arranja um pincel... Para mim a pintura... Tenta arranjar um pincel deste, só. Está bem, tem aqui. E para mais agora que a idade já treme muito, já... É um pincel deste. Aerógrafo para mim é mais que ser. Isto você mete lá e como se fosse a pintar e vai meter no sítio que quer. Depois deixa de ficar, porque é só colar. É, aquilo é para tapar o caminho todo. Já não é mesmo. Faz com isso ou pronto. Ou se um pincel vão logo. Isto são os melhores tipos depois. Não risca, nem nem faz onde vai tudo lá. Aquilo depois é lavado os pincéis com o quê? Com álcool na mesma? Disse tudo, se não é só água. Agora não é só água. Não tem nada de tal como eu. Estou? Estou bem. Eu agora estou a acabar um... Não sei se vocês já viram uma... Uma leixa de desembarque. Foi que você viu o mundo aqui da outra vez? Sim. Mas tinha dado para invenções já. Ah, tá mas isso é que é giro. Isso é que é giro a gente fazer. Isso é que é giro. Não sei onde é que está. Fiz três modelos de um carro de bombeiros que havia no Cacanho. Diz hum. na escala 35. Feito. Tem um caminhão de que vem da Rebola. Tem umas placasinhas lá de. Já não vemos o nome daquilo. Aquelas placas. Saquetas com as placasinhas. E tudo feito. Andei a tirar medidas. Fita métrica. Calculadora. Fazer aquilo para a escala 35. A dividir, está a ver, não é? Para tirar os varões e a grossura dos varões, das mangueiras, varões das escadas, tudo, as das portas, tudo. 
Fiz três. Está aí da Rebel. Está aí da Rebel, um, bom, um carro de bombeiros. Uh, que é um novo do que ele está a agir porque tem o um interior todo. Você abre, tem aquilo, tem as ferramentas, tem é que ele, é o caminho normalmente sai para o Portanto, se quiser, dê uma olha dela e está o um preço excelente aquilo. Uma vez tentei isso e acabei de vendê-lo. Quando era mais novo e tinha melhor, melhor visão e melhor. Mas nem se que também nos não, olhos. Não, não. Prefiro pista. <risos> Já pintei um carro atriz. Um carro meu, o Renault Novo que eu comprei. Eu comecei a emprestar a pistola e como só fiz uma pintar é que ele chorava a tinta de tornado. Mas o que é que eu fiz? Verdiza, ou oh, diluenta mais, diluenta menos, o que é que não sei. Acabei de capar aquela porcaria toda, não tinha começado a pintar. Vou comprar uma trincha de marca, gastei um dinheirão. E vai há uns 20 anos atrás. Eu tenho dinheiro, dei 12 pontos pela trincha. Ah, pois acredito. 12 pontos pela trincha. Dei mais pela trincha do que pela mar, pelas lápis daqui. Eu acredito que eu pensei aqui, tem tudo. Mas fiz oitinho. Emprestaram uma garagem. Bati os exaustores nas janelas, as oitinhas nas janelas, os cubinhos a, a pingar água, a chupar o pó. Não tenho carro. Três semanas depois para ter um carro. Onde eu vou estar suicidado. Sigam! Não tinha um motor mais potente. Já estava a juntar dinheiro para ter uma caixa de 5 velocidades. Tinha o carro todo tipi. Um grande máquina. Só faltava a caixa de 5 e o turbo. É para o carro estava lindo. Mas lindo para ter um carro. Isso é que é pior. <risos> Era puta, tenho 20 anos. Para mim foi um desgosto. Para mim tinha morrido ali na família. É um desgosto. Só. <risos> Bom, vou andar. Vá, para ver o nível. Adeus. 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 A gente vê se ainda está na bola. Ok. Então, <risos> guys, uh, sorry, I am talking with the customer. Uh, Portuguese, guys, you can listen. <laughs> So, as you can see, I paint. And now, because the only thing I'm going to paint by hand is the propeller, and I'm going to paint in gold color. So, I need my daughter to bring me the gold color. <laughs> so, the brush I have no. You bet, baby. Okay, so I if here, and it's going. To be from Vallejo, to. and then I will put a good coat of varnish on the top. Okay, and at this time, it's the time you go and think do I put oils, do I put anything? Okay, and um, maybe I will try because I have the new range of ammo. Uh, oil brushes and they have a steel and some some uh, some metal colors and maybe that is going to be really really nice so let me just paint the propeller okay I'm going to uh, not this one this is a very big one okay I got this one and Let's paint the propeller. And the propeller is all in this. So this color is very nice. The metal colors are very nice to paint by hand too. They grab very nice and they have a good coverage. So yes, this is very nice. So normally on the first coat, it, this goes nice, but if you want more shiny, just put more.
So sorry if I go out of the camera, but at this time. Almost done. And these dry very quickly like the others, acrylic ones, okay? So on this, guys, from Valero, congratulations. These paints are awesome. So just one more. This one here. And I got all the propellers painted. So uh, normally they say to paint this on brass color, but I like more this gold color because it seems a lot more faded, okay? And if I want, I go with the oil brushes and fade a little more the color, okay? So just like that. So here it is. Okay, now it's. It, I just need to start working. Uh, for the weathering. So it's done. Let me close this one. Guys, if you have this or you are going to buy, when you close, just pop, the one, when you're going to close, put a size, okay? Because normally you have paint here on the, the cap and it's going to splash all over, okay? So careful. And it's done. So now finish. Uh, let me see. I got here. So just a little, little, little. Mark there, so let me where I put the paper. So, oops. let me just put a little there of the steel and with the brush, just a tip there, guys. Okay, now let's take a good look. If see it, everything is nice, and I think it is. So putting this together, it's going to have a different shine on the top. Okay, it's make all the difference, okay? It's... You're on the top of the antenna too. Okay, I think it's good. So
So yes, this was a quick one. It's going to have mistakes because I did it uh, very quickly, guys. So this is a kit level three from Rebel. The parts are very easy, guys. Uh, the good thing they do, it's the, the body meets the top with the bottom and the sides. Okay, so we got here that line of the panels and it went real good. Okay, so I think he wins. Nice. So just now I'm going to put a coat of the varnish and it's going to be ready. Sorry. Check. So tomorrow I'm going to give a try with the oils. And let's see. So I'm not worried now to have a little shine on the nose of the of this. Because tomorrow I'm going to put oils and it's going to be nice. So you see with the Air Cobra you can work very nice with the varnish, it comes out very nice. So now just a quick clean on the brush. See a big reaction with the cleaner, so it's normal. Came out really, really nice. More. So this is the most important part, guys. When you use primers and varnish on your airbrush, if you love your airbrush, clean it. If not, you are going to cry later. Simple as that. Yes, I think for one hour and a half uh, for the, the for the um, for the construction, I it was about an hour. So more work on the painting job, but uh, so far I think it's went nice. So you see all the steps, uh, the masking. Uh, the white and, uh, and the black, okay, and you've got uh, very uh, different tones on the summer, no, not just that uh, that color, it's all the same color, so I think it's, it's nice. So tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, I don't know, maybe Monday, okay, uh, because tomorrow it's Saturday and I got uh, all my friends here on the store, uh, and I'm going to have some kits 
they are going to they are learning and some is going to start learning and that's why tomorrow maybe i'm not going to make a live stream just pictures for the what i am doing around the night so see this uh, on monday and i will do just a little weathering on, on this i'm not on this i'm not going to go crazy normally i said that and then i go crazy but this time i'm not i'm very happy with the, the results okay well, so i think it's nice so guys uh thank you thank you thank you very much for watching and supporting me uh, if you are Portuguese guys and you live uh, around here, Lisbon, Sintra, just come here, okay? And you see it. So, let me put this. Okay, and uh, yes, my daughter. Jack No. It's almost finished, okay? <laughs> okay, it's on the ground. So, Guys, I see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to post some videos <laughs> and I catch you later, okay? Bye, guys.